Hi everyone, Jeremy Schaefer here. Greetings from King City, California. That's where I'm performing at the Salinas Valley Fair this weekend. And I'm on my break, so I thought I'd show you how to make a balloon icosahedron. This is a model that I designed using my math degree. It's the only little bit that I've used my math degree. And it uses graph theory. Well, that's how I designed it anyway. So I'm gonna show you how to fold it, or twist it, whatever you do. I <laughs> do a lot of origami, so I like to talk in terms of folds. So blow up your balloon, and you wanna leave about an inch at the end. Tie it. And we're going to make a little bubble right here. And the rest of the balloon, we're gonna to try to divide into five. So just estimate, do as, as best as you can. So twist once and make it the same length. Twist again right here. And now make it into a triangle, an equilateral triangle. And twist here. And now bring the triangle, just twist the triangle around the bubble like, like that, okay? And you should hopefully have two segments left. So twist right in the middle, like this. And bring the end of the balloon to this corner of the triangle. And twist the bubble. And twist the bubble around like this. And this is the first unit. So we have to make five more of those. So, here it goes. Whoa. All right, so, here we go. Four. Two. Four. And six. All right, we're ready to put them together. So, notice that these modules, these units, are made of uh, vertices of three, one, two, three, and vertices of two. So the whole idea here is to attach the vertices of three to the vertices of two. So you're just gonna wrap the little bubbles around like that. One. Okay, and we have our first balloon attachment. Now we're going to take the next one and here we have a vertice of two and we attach it to the vertice of three. Okay. And 
now let's attach the vertice of three, the vertice of two on the original first balloon. All right, so this is what we have. And we could make another one of those, but let's just keep attaching. Okay, so basically if you just continue attaching the vertices of three to the vertices of two, you should end up okay. There it goes. where we can bring it together, let's bring it together. So, here, right here. And as you can see, it's forming. So let's see, let's take this, and we're going to put it on a vertice of two. Okay, and where can we bring it together? Right, right here. See, we're forming the ball. And let's see, ooh, look, we can bring this together, too. Okay, and we just have one more balloon, and look, it's gonna fit perfectly right here to close <laughs> this giant helmet. <laughs> look, it's a helmet. No, we're going to finish, we're going to finish the Icosti Hito. Okay, so. Oops, did you see that? See, vertice of three to vertice of two. And this is vertice of three to vertice of two. And here, vertice of three to vertice of two. And final one. Closing it up. And there it is, the balloon ball. And what you can do is just pull out the edges so that it makes it a little bit more round. And <laughs> there it is, the icosahedron balloon ball. Well, hope you're able to make that and catch you later. Jeremy Schaefer signing out.